Hi there, Jana here. Um, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you. So sometimes what you have is a table or a small database um, of data that when you go out to the field and to collect data using ODK or Kobo Toolbox, um, what you want to do is ask a question, maybe to get a family ID number, and then you want to enter that into your form and your form automatically kind of pulls some data together from your database and shows um, the data collector that information. So for example, if you enter a family ID, maybe you want the form to tell you what province they're from, for example. Um, so I'm going to just show you how to quickly do that using your ODK or Kobo Toolbox form. And um, what we first need to do is just have your, um, your table or your database of data. So um, what I've done here is just created a CSV file, okay? So this isn't just a regular Excel file, it's actually comma separated value, so a .csv type value. Uh, and your, you have two, I have two columns here. So your first column is your key. So I've, under, I've named it family ID underscore key. And my second column is my province data. So in my fi family ID column, I have, these are my family ID numbers. And then in my province data, I have what province each of those families actually is from. Okay, so I have saved that. So if you save as, you can see that it's Unicode text or you can save it as CSV UTF-8. Uh, and you can see my name is Pull Data Family Province. Okay, so that will be important in just a moment. So you can save that. Uh, sure, we'll replace the existing file. Okay, so once you've created that, then what you want to do is go into your XLS form and you're going to create a text question um, that asks for the family ID and um, you're, you're going to say that's a required question. And then your second question actually won't show up in your form. It's called a calculate type question and it will just happen in the background. We're going to name that the family province. So we want to find out what province the family is from. And it's a special calculation called pull data. So you put pull data and then an open bracket. And then you put pull data family province. So that is the name of the CSV file that we've created, OK? So that's what you put there is a CSV file name. Then you put a comma and another open, open um, apostrophe. And then you put province data. So that's actually the column name that we're looking for. OK, so that's the second column name. Um, put a closed apostrophe, another comma, open apostrophe, and you put family ID underscore key. OK, so that's actually what we want to match. So that's the second column name, or the first column name, actually, in our database. And that's what we're trying to match. And what are we trying to match it to? We're trying to match it to the family ID that we've just entered. So this is the name, family ID. Uh, so we put a um, dollar, sign, dollar sign, open curly bracket, family ID, close curly bracket. So that's referring back to whatever was entered in the family ID question. And then we put a closed bracket. So that's uh, basically four elements of a pull data function. Your first element is the name of the CSV file. The second is the name of the column where the data is that you want to pull out of the database. Uh, so what data are you trying to extract? The third element here is the um, key or the matching column between um, what you've entered here and where you, where you want to match it in the um, database. And then the fourth element is actually um, what it's matching from within the, the answer or the question that you've um, just entered in the ODK form. So you do a calculate question that's pull data with those four elements. And then you can display that back to the data collector using a note. So if you put a note question type and you give it some name, I've just called it province note. And I've just said for the label that the family is from, and then I've referred back to this calculate question. So family province, the family is from, and then it will enter whatever was pulled from that database, uh, province. Okay, so let's see this in action. So I'm in my ODK Collect app. If I click on Fill Blank Form, uh, then I will just find my Pull Data Questionnaire. 
And if I enter my family ID, so let's do a 14 and then swipe forward. Okay, so in the background, uh, the ODK app has actually calculated what, um, or has pulled from the database, what is uh, the province. So let's actually open that and go check A14. So A13, A14 is north. And so if we're back in our ODK, yes, it's calculated north. So it pulled that data from that database and it's now given me a note back the family is from North Province. Um, and then the third thing I want you to just see is how that's actually set up in the Kobo toolbox. So what you want to do, so this is the questionnaire, okay, so this is the project. Um, and when you have deployed your form, you can go to settings and over in on the left hand side you go to media and there is this little green button that you can click to say add document so I've already added that this but if you add the document and then you choose the file um, and that might be this full data family province okay so you'll actually um, get that CSV file and then you click upload. I've already uploaded it, so I'm not gonna do this again. Um, but that's actually how you then upload that document into your Kobo Toolbox server. And then when you download it on your phone or on your ODK Collect app, it will be there in the background. And that is how you use pull data. So you can actually have external database attached to your ODK form, which uh, can be used in all kinds of interesting ways to actually pull data into your form. So I hope that's helpful. If you want to learn more about ODK or other humanitarian data management techniques and tips, then please subscribe to my channel. Would love to um, notify you when we put out some new content each week. Uh, and I hope to see you here soon. Bye.